Hey, yo, good morning, Epic Squad. What's up, Hoppin'? For me right now, it's just late in the evening. Um, I kind of slept in. I stayed up really late trying to find this camera, guys. Um, I lost it about 6 p.m. yesterday, and I've been searching for this camera since 6 p.m. I went to bed at 5 p.m. I said, fudge it. Hopefully, hopefully somebody will find it in the morning, or maybe I'll find it in the morning, because my vlog footage is gone. I went back to it and I was going to go upload it, but I forgot to delete yesterday's vlog, so it just got all bundled up, and we went to go delete yesterday's vlog. I accidentally deleted the vlog for today. Um, so I'm just making a whole new vlog and stuff like that. Daily vlogs are still here, so this vlog is going to be more shorter than usual, but overall, I'll record if there's anything entertaining, but if there's nothing really entertaining, then there's nothing I can record. Um and stuff like that but yeah I'll see you guys if there's anything entertaining what's up everybody I've been recording for the past 30 minutes so far um and it's gone fine I guess I mean the last clip I recorded it was my intro and I haven't recorded in the last 30 minutes besides this clip right here I've been recording trying to at least um, I actually turned my camera off, turned it back on, and then I actually hit record. So this is how this clip is being made now. I don't know, I'm interesting. I'm introing this clip in a weird way. Um, I just wanted to get on here and, you know, talk a little bit about how, um, this YouTube channel, I've talked about how my first YouTube channel and all my other YouTube channels have started, but I've never talked about how this channel was preferredly started. I bought this phone. This is where all the magic happens, where all the videos get uploaded. This is a cool pad. I've had this phone for about almost a year. I started, I had, after six months after buying the phone, I decided to start a YouTube channel on it. I started a YouTube channel. My very first YouTube video ever was the gaming setup review, and I did that review. It was a shitty way. I was literally, I was talking in a short voice like this talking about a computer, talking about a TV. I was talking in the short voice. And then I became more known into it, more known into it. And I wasn't embarrassed to talk in like a more better voice. And this is the being very loud and ruining my audio. Matter of fact, like the slightest thing, you're probably thinking on YouTube, and eh, just the slightest noise ain't gonna ruin your audio. The slightest noise can mess up your entire audio. As you know, like the slightest noise slightest noise can ruin your whole clip and then you have to do it again. <sighs> With this camera, I'm thinking I'm going to try and keep the clips very, very minimum, like, not like 50, 60 clips, just like several, like three long old clips or s at least five or six. Keep it under 25 or keep it way under 10 because I don't want to have to keep going and doing so many clips because then I have to find the intro and then find the outro. Which I do believe the intro should be at the very bottom and the outro should be at the very top. It just, you have to share it all to. It's very difficult with this camera. For some reason, it doesn't do what a GoPro does with this micro SD. You actually have to save it. I mean, you actually have to send it. But overall, this phone's been through some beats. And this phone has been through some batters. There's a crack right here. The sound is screwed up. Um, and that's about it, besides it's all buffed and scratched to the brim. And there's a reason I want, uh, another reason I wanted to get a camera is just for reasons, because every time I record with my phone, it fills up very fast. I mean, the camera on my phone is decent and stuff like that, but every time I use my phone camera, it just fills up. My phone fills up like a hedgehog. And, um, <laughs> well, I don't like filling my phone up a lot. Not because that uh, I don't want to but it's because that I don't want to have to fill it up because the more I fill it up the more it's harder for me to share it <sighs> that's the reason I've only been putting my videos in 240p quality instead of 720 or 1080 um, I can go to 1080p or I can go to 720 but I prefer 240 because that's the right minimum, minimum and it's decent you can see me decently I mean it makes my camera quality look like shit but if I was to do it in 720 you guys would see the big difference but I put my last video on 360, so you should be able to go to 360p, and that should be able to give you guys a better review of what my camera quality actually is, because on the side it says 4K ultra wide HD, 
but it's the HD all I see is 4k ultra and that's it and it says pixel and then 4k 27 by 108 millimeter lens 130660 60 by 6 by 6 and then it says pixel F Z43 that's all it says besides the brand up there which I can't pronounce but overall I really like this camera small compact and as you guys can see I literally can set it anywhere I literally got you guys set up on a truck right now like legit I have you set up right there where that hole is and it's kind of funny how you guys are set up because I was going to set you guys up on this r little rail but you guys would be facing kind of downwards to where you guys would be kind of seeing something like that instead of something like that but I decided to set you guys up here where you're not like that and you guys can see me fine um, I started, I think I did four months with my, U I did think I did four months, maybe roughly five, I don't know, I'm going to say about three months is what I did f with the, the phone, and then I got that uh, GoPro like camera I used for about a month, it broke, it, and then I got another one, I actually still have that GoPro, it's just I need to find the battery that way I can charge it up. The think the new one I've got, I'm just going to use that to charge up my old one because my old one works a whole lot better than my new one does. That's why I regret buying my new one. I just wanted to find my old one and I couldn't. And I was trying to find out how much a specific camera was. It was too expensive. And just chuggity chuggity ba ba da dee dee. And stuff like that. But overall, everything worked out in the end. For what I would say you would need for equipment for starting a YouTube channel would be your phone. You don't need no computer and you don't need a camera right off the bat. I started from my phone and I'm still on my phone just recording with a camera now. You don't need your phone, you don't need your computer, you don't need this $500 computer or system setup, you don't need this $500 hard drive, you don't need all that. All you need is simply an Android, an Apple phone, it does not matter. Whatever type of phone has YouTube. And at least has an SD card slot. Heck, you can do it off your tablet if you have Wi-Fi and it has an SD card slot. And stuff like that. But the common issues I've seen with tablets with starting a YouTube channel is you when I put the SD card in a tablet, it gives me an error with my micro SDs for some reason. But phone, it just pulls it right up. There's some some issues with getting it on phone but most of the time it's going to take you about 10 minutes to get it all together but since this camera doesn't work the way the GoPro does with the micro it takes me about 45 minutes to get the whole video together but overall I just wanted to come on here and talk about that and say you only need a phone to start a YouTube channel you don't need a computer that's why I started from was a phone scratch and I just said hey I haven't been on YouTube for the longest let's start a YouTube channel and now you guys can see I'm sitting at about 150 videos on YouTube, 11 subscribers, and about 112 to 120 people viewing my channel every day, every morning, every night, every day, every Saturday, every Sunday, Thursday. I don't really care what day it is, 112 people to 115 people viewing my channel every day. It shows that you don't need a computer. It shows that you don't need um, $500 Apple computers. It shows that all you need is a phone and you can make something if you want to create. What I like about YouTube is you can create whatever you want. TikTok and Vine, rest in peace Vine, it died a long time ago. But TikTok and Vine and Facebook and stuff like that, that's more for like skits. Um, You can post like funny videos or stuff like that. That's what TikTok and Vine, Vine's dead now, but for what, that was what Vine was, is posting little videos. TikTok is supposed to be the replacement for Vine, but Vine came out with a new with a new app called Byte. I've never used it personally. I think it's trash. Vine overall, it's it was good. The new app they came out with is trash. I've downloaded it. I couldn't even post a video. It kept freezing, showing several hundred ads. It sucks. To be honest, I don't. I prefer TikTok. That's why I have a TikTok account, as you guys know. I have a couple TikToks. Now I haven't been posting TikToks recently. But I've been posting more of like what I would prefer to post and what uh, my speed would be prefer to post. But yes, you're gonna get people looking at you when you just when you're just doing this and the and the flipping uh and the uh, and 
public. Uh, I'm going to record on my phone real quick and show you guys kind of what it would look like from somebody else's point of view. Hang on, let me set you guys up real quick. As you guys can see, you're sitting on that little deal where I was going to do it the first time. Watch, I'm going to put my phone way out here, start recording on my phone, and kind of show what other people would look like. I'm trying to get my phone at like the right angle. Sorry guys, if I'm moving you. And then I'm going to start recording on my phone. Now, when people look at you when you're doing this, people think that you're honestly idiotic and what the fuck is that kid doing with a camera pointing it right at his face? But, when you look at it, you're looking at it, you're just posting a YouTube video. But when other people look at it from the other side, it's kind of like, what is this kid even doing or this guy even doing? But now if the people know you, then it's on the other hand, but... Some people think that you're idiotic. I hope this was helpful. Tips for starting a YouTube channel. Don't expect to get a couple thousand subscribers when you instantly start. It's going to take time. As you guys know, I've been on YouTube for six and a half months, going on seven months, and I only have 11 subscribers. In about a year, I should have about 45 to 60 subscribers, and somewhere around in about two, three years. I'm not a fast growing channel as you guys know, so I'm going to say about 3 or 4 years I should have at least 2,000, 3,000 subscribers. I'm just estimating that roughly about the size I'm growing and the speed I'm growing and how many people I have. Heck, oh, from all I know, I could have, I could instantly, like, in a year I could, like, spike to a million subscribers. And I haven't got any. Personally, I have gotten one person to come up to me, and they didn't actually come up to me. They, like, they said, hey, I know that guy. And it must have been a hater or something from YouTube, but they was in public. And they said, hey, I know that guy. To be honest, I didn't know him from my personal life either. All I know is they said, hey, I know that guy. Let's go. And something like that. Must have been a hater. I have quite a few haters and stuff like that. But hopefully this was helpful. And that was the only time I've had an actual like person on in public come up to me and stuff like that, but they didn't really come up to me, they just said that they hated me and stuff like that, so really, it didn't really matter, maybe they knew me in my personal life, I don't know, hopefully this is entertaining, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you smash like button. Now, when people look at you when you're doing this, people think that you're honestly idiotic, and what the fuck is that kid doing with a camera, pointing it right at his face, but, when you look at it, you're looking at it, you're just posting a YouTube video, but when other people look at it from the other I've been out here for the past two hours just widowing a stick. I made a little, a little bitty uh, walking stick. It's right there. I shaved it all apart and I shaved like a little handle. It's not much, but I've always wanted to do this. I have a buck 110, but I don't break it. We have a little tire over here. It has some air pressure. My batteries are dying. It has some air pressure. I wonder if I can stick my knife in it. Well, that was really easy. Slashed it. <laughs> um, I watched this video on YouTube. Um, fun fact: this is actually where I fully gutted this stick out. As you see, there's a lot of white wood here. I went with more of like an actual really white wood. You can see that there's a yellow part. By the way, I did it with the buck 110. Um, you see, there's a yellow part. There's a white part, and then there's a yellow part. I tried to make this white part even, but I don't have any sandpaper to get all like get it smooth. So I just go, went with what I had. And you see there's a, wa a lot of white shavings. I went with more of like a white stick that's more healthy. Because you can see, this is a thin stick, but it's hard. Because when I first got it, I bashed it as hard as I could up against that and it did not snap. This is a healthy stick because I actually cut it down over here. Um, I cut it off because I wanted a nice healthy stick. There's tons of sticks laying around, but they're all dead. I cut it off right there with the buck knife. It ain't the cleanest cut. Cause I ain't the best cut. But my issue, what, not issue, what I want to do is I want to start, I want to leave the handle fine. But what I want to do is I want to do notches. I want to make a notch. So I'm going to do notches all the way around until I get to the top and see what that looks like and see if that looks good or not. Um, and I'm just going to, I guess, time lapse it or something. No, I'll see you guys when I'm done. It was a huge fail. I did not get to do anything that I wanted to the stick. But as you can see, it's getting dark. So I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications. That way you never miss a new video. See you guys next time. Peace.